Okay, welcome to LabVIEW tutorial for loops part two. All we're going to do in this tutorial is add some random noise to our sine, sine wave. So our sine wave is sampled with 50 samples. We can change the number of samples, for example. Change that back to 50. Do control E to get back to our um, block diagram side. And again, this is from, we made this in tutorial part one, so refer to that. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this last value box because it's not very useful. And I'm going to break this wire temporarily and I'm going to insert under programming a numeric and towards the bottom I find random number generator. It's this dice looking symbol here. And it just generates a random number between 0 and 1. And to that I'm going to multiply right click, create constant, or I'm, I'm sorry, create control. I'm going to multiply a number, an arbitrary number we'll call noise level. We'll leave it zero at the moment. And so that's a number between zero and one that we can add to our sign signal. And so a new random number will be generated on each loop iteration. And now we reconnect things. And press play. And see how the noise level is zero. Nothing happens, but if we go to point 0.1, it starts to get wiggly. Point 0.3, more so. 1, you know, it gets worse. We can make our signal to noise ratio very bad. And of course, the noise is different each time because these are random number generators. 0 0.2. So save that and then come back to part three of the tutorial.